drum sampler features three playback modes and allows for the layering of multiple samples per pad. In this video, we'll explore each of the modes and discover how sample layering can improve your productions. To get started, we'll need to load an empty instance of the drum sampler. Simply drag the plugin object onto a track. Navigate to Waveform Plugins and select Drum Sampler. Before we can explore the various playback modes, we'll need to load some samples. For this example, I'm going to load and layer several kick drums. Simply press the B key to open the browser. Navigate to your samples and then hold Shift while clicking to select multiple samples. Once selected, drag the samples onto the kick drum pad of the drum sampler. You'll notice the samples are now stacked on the right hand side. By default, the drum sampler's playback mode is set to all. This means that when I hit the kick drum pad on my MIDI controller, all of the samples are triggered at once. This mode is required for general playback and for layering samples, which we'll come back to shortly. If I change the playback mode to round robin and hit a pad on my MIDI controller, you'll notice that the stacked samples play back sequentially over and over. This is really useful for creating natural sounding performances. Finally, I'll change the playback mode to random and hit a pad on my MIDI controller. As the name suggests, the samples are triggered randomly. This has several creative applications and can also aid in creating natural sounding performances. In this example, we're going to create a layered snare. Before we begin though, make sure that all is selected for the playback mode. I'll now open the browser to access our samples. Our layered snare will consist of several hits. Firstly, this one, which will provide the body. This hit will emphasize the top end, this clap, and a clap variation. I'll hold shift to select them all and then drag them over to the snare drum pad. Hitting the pad on my MIDI controller triggers all of the samples at once as expected. The drum sampler allows us to tweak the volume levels and stereo positioning of each layer, so I'm going to make some adjustments. I'll start by getting a good balance between the two snare hits. I'll now adjust the levels of the clap samples. Finally, I'll pan the clap samples hard left and right to create a wide stereo image. Let's take a listen. There's no limit to the number of samples you can layer, allowing you to quickly create your own sound. A drum sampler instance can be created and saved containing your sample collection. This allows you to quickly audition sounds on the fly in any project. Here we have an empty instance of the drum sampler and all has been chosen as the playback mode. With the browser open, I'll drag my kick drum samples onto the kick drum pad my snare samples onto the snare pad, hi-hats to the hi-hat pad, and so on. Using the solo buttons, we can now audition each of the stacked drums, making it quick and easy to find the right snare, kick, or hi-hat in the context of any song. Once you are happy and have committed to a drum hit, simply leave it soloed. If you solo multiple samples, the round robin and random modes can be used, and these will only trigger the soloed samples. I'm going to set the playback mode back to all, before saving this as a preset for future recall. Simply click Save As and the Preset Details window pops up. Here we can enter a name, a brief description, and set some tags. 
Our preset can now be loaded in any edit. Here I'll locate it in the browser and simply drag it onto a track. You can see the samples are all still in place and ready to be auditioned. The round robin and random playback modes can be used to create natural sounding performances by triggering a selection of sample variations. For example, in the browser I have four snare hits. You can hear each one is very slightly different. I'll shift click to select all and then drag these samples over to the snare pad. If I now set the playback mode to round robin and hit the snare pad on my MIDI controller, you can see and hear the samples being triggered sequentially. Change the playback mode to random and you can see the samples are now being triggered at random. A real drummer will rarely, if ever, hit a snare the same way twice, and by using the round robin and random playback modes, we can achieve a similar level of realism. You're not limited to four variations, you can drag as many samples onto the pad as you wish. And if you apply this technique to snares, kick drums and hi-hats, you'll notice your drums sound much more alive and natural. Thanks for watching.